So I am currently in my final semester as a cybersecurity student at Penn State University and I thought that I would take this time to really just uh, lay out the roadmap of this final year and give you a more of a, perspective, a student's perspective on uh, what we go through in the last year because um, as most college programs go, the last year is really where you get like the most hands-on experience and you've been building up to this for, f for four years. So you're, re you're really going to get to apply all the knowledge you've acquired over this time period in your undergraduate studies. So uh, just as a little bit of background, um, my major is in security and risk analysis with a focus on information and cybersecurity. And that's, that's the program that my school offers at the time uh, when I started out. So this is the program that I'm in. Um, so it's more of it, it's more of like a three area focus. There's the risk analysis focus. There's the cybersecurity focus, and then there's more of an information systems focus. So you'll see this when I'm actually laying out the the classes and the the plan um, that I am going through this last year. So without further ado, let's just get right into my um, my class schedule. So the last semester that I've just completed was really um, heavily loaded. Um, so I did this just to, just to ensure I had all of the classes that I needed to finish up and graduate on time. Because as some of the people who know and who follow my channel know, I actually took off a semester last year and uh, did a co-op. So I am effectively graduating in three and, a half, um, three and a half years. So I just really wanted to make sure that I have all the credits I need, I have all the major classes that I need, and that I can graduate in May. So the first class I'm gonna be talking about is I had an advanced uh, forensics class. So one thing that this class did um, to really help me out for, for the real world was working with groups and going through all of the steps in forensics cases. Um, this was really hammered in through every single lab. Every lab, we all had our individual roles in the group. And um, throughout this lab, we, we went through the same steps every single time. And this really hammered it in. So while the tools in this class weren't really as up to date and the cases that we were working on seemed very outdated. Um, I did take away something from this course, which is good to say. So the next course I took was a information security management course. Um, this course was pretty high level overview and I, it was more, I would liken it more to like the CompTIA CASP or the CISSP and in this more like management type um, of course type of learning. It wasn't technical at all, but we went over a lot of different information security policies, standards, guidelines, and, and stuff like that. It wasn't too exciting, honestly. So the next course I had was a cyber law course. This course was pretty interesting. It was probably my most favorite course of last semester just because it was something different. I hadn't taken a course with a law focus and this really, this really was set apart from the other courses because every week we would go through, um, we would go through cases, and then at the end of the at the end of the week we would provide an oral case brief, which was pretty fun. And the cases were fairly up to date um, compared to a lot of the stuff in my major, um, so where you could be working on stuff that's from earlier than like from like 2012, 2015. Some of these cases we were working on were 2018. And, and more recent than that. So, so we're really, um, we're getting to understand the application of law to the, to the field that we've been studying for four years. And I feel like even if I'm not going to go into this field, it was definitely a great understanding because pretty much whatever I end up doing um, in the field of cybersecurity, I will have to understand um, the, just the basic foundations of how it applies to the law. So I, I definitely took away some good lessons from this course. So another course in my major that I took last semester, um, it's like I said before at the beginning of this video, uh, so my major is, a com is, is focused on um, risk analysis as well as cybersecurity. So this was not super related to cybersecurity, but it was statistics with R. Um, so I've taken a number of statistics courses just to fulfill my major requirements. And this one, was applying all the principles that we learned um, in those foundational courses and actually running some analysis with R. Um, this course was rather fun for me just because it was more hands-on. Um, I, I really do just enjoy the, the labs and I, I enjoyed learning R. I've done a lot of um, statistical analysis in Python, but um, just applying this to R, you know, just broadening my expertise a little bit. 
So all for all, that was a good class to take. So like I said at the beginning of this video, I really front loaded this, this fall semester that I had. And so now I'm gonna be talking about my last semester as a cybersecurity student. After this semester in May, I will be done and I will be moving on um, going full time at my current position that I'm working at in consulting. So this, I only have one 400 level course left and that is my, um, my capstone course. And I'm just gonna real quickly detail um, what I expect to get out of this course and um, bring with me into the workforce. So in this course, it's a really heavily group uh, focused project. And so the whole semester, I, I, from my understanding, at the beginning of the semester, we're going to pick a group and we're going to pick a project. And this will be worked on through the entire semester. So at Penn State, we have 16 week semesters and we are just gonna be progressing. We're gonna have deliverables every week. And this will really, um, this will really get us into the tempo of a real life project and I believe that th this capstone project will also be applied to some to solve some real world issue that we will be presenting to possibly uh, the township or a company that presents the problem to us so um, I don't exactly know what to expect from this course so I'm pretty excited to to just really apply all the lessons that I've learned in my three and a half years of studies so now for the big questions. Do I really feel like this last year of my studies um, really gets me ready or transitions me into the workforce? I would say yes and no. So let me unpack this a little bit. Um, I said transitions me into the workforce. I do agree that this, this last semester um, is a good transition from the first three years of going over a lot of theory. So, so moving into this last year, we're doing a lot more hands-on projects and working with working with groups more. So that will definitely be more applicable to the workforce. But the actual the actual subject matter I have learned in this last year really will not help me out um, for this for work, for what I'm going into at least because I work in the field of consulting um, more on the purple team um, aspect of my company and I do a lot of engineering projects as well. This information was that I learned this year was pretty basic and not that applicable. But like I said, just going through the motions and working with groups definitely, definitely helps um, you learn some lessons before you go out and apply them in the real world. So another interesting question that I was thinking about um, when I was just reflecting on this last semester was if I had ended my, or in theory, if I had ended my education after year three, do I think that I would have been just as fun off um, without having to go through this last year and so the, the two 16 week semesters and spend all this extra money? So I wish that it could have ended. Um, I've been waiting. I've been working for the last two years, basically, while I've been doing school. So the entire time I've been um, getting experience on the side and I, I really feel like that I have everything I need to go into the workforce. and. That I'm kind of just going through the motions for these classes. But um, so basically I do feel like those first three years got me all of the all of the skills that I needed. Um, but I, I guess if I, like I said before, I can take away that this last year is getting me the group experience that is um, highly valued in the workforce. So that's it for this video. Um, I hope that this reflection gave you a little bit of perspective on my cybersecurity education. And if you're a cybersecurity student, um, this could be completely different from your university. This is just my experience, but I thought that I would just uh, go over it to help out um, any prospective students or um, employers looking at some, some uh, experiences from cybersecurity students. 